What's up everyone, Nakota here with a brand new Let's Play series, New Tales from the Borderlands. I'm so excited to start this. Um, I've been having a little technical difficulties with it, but I think I got it to situate. I'm so excited because I'm hoping there's some new characters I've never seen before, which it looks like there is, and then I'm hoping there's some returning characters too. So let's get right into this game and stop talking about it. Um, let's see. We're going to delete this file because I accidentally kind of started it without y'all, but I didn't really listen to it, so let's go. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Think you've seen it all, huh? Think you know all there is to know about Vault Hunters, Bandits, Corporations, and nobody loser types? Well, you don't know Skak Diddly. Take Promethea, for example. A civilized place, as far as planetary-sized piles of excrement go. A planet still recovering from its war with the Malewan Corporation. The rival Atlas Corporation is in bad shape. Reese Strongfork. The big shot CEO with the regrettable mustache is scrambling. He's on the cusp of something big. But he's not the only one. And into this pressure cooker steps Dr. Anuradha Dar, genius inventor, socially awkward uh, do-gooder type. She works for Atlas, been tinkering with a big, award-winning idea. Her brother, Octavio Wallace Dar, Meridian City's most well-known man, at least in his own mind, he's convinced his big break is just around the corner. And Fran Miskowitz, purveyor of Reese Strongfork's favorite Frogger flavor, She's hoping for a big insurance payout after that regrettable Malawan laser incident. So, you're probably asking yourself, what makes these three so special? And the answer is nothing. Yet. All right. So that sounds really interesting. Go. Go. Be free. So there's Professor Run. Anu. What are those? Run. She must have let him loose. Morning. What? Oh, I mean, good morning. Seriously. Again? Yep. Another busy day. Work, work, work. Am I right? What's she do? Like, oh, she got caught. By channeling the Iridium's energy through a multiphasic refraction lens, I can reproduce the, as yet, inexplicable powers of the Sirens. Maybe not the wings thing, which is so cool, but uh, crucially, the ability to manipulate an object safely through space-time. I'm Anu, the ultimate Siren fangirl, but for totally scientific reasons, I swear, and I'm so close to replicating the signature move of my all-time favorite siren, Lilith. R.I.P. Fong. <laughs> Fong, your partner in science or in crime? Anu. I love this relationship already. As I was saying, in addition to forever altering the nature of conflict vis-a-vis -vis offering a non-lethal resolution, my device could also change the world. Anu PhD, better -er of worlds, for the AKA better, you. Imagine, a way for people to solve their problems without killing each other. I literally can't. I just have to figure out how to actually bring back the objects I phased away. And also where they go. And also what happens to them. Simple. Interdepartmental demonstration scheduled for two weeks from today. Dr. Anuradha Dar, signing off. 
Oh, snap. Two weeks? Really? It's going to be ready by then? I hope so. Yeah, I'm sort of hoping setting the goal will force me to meet the goal, you know? Oh, yeah, that's definitely how that works. So. All I've got to do <laughs> is just figure out the next step. That's it. There's got to be something I'm missing. Figure it out with, like, your intuition or with your tech goggles. I would like to think both. Maybe start with the tech goggles, though. There's a button on the side. There we go. Okay, goggles. Let's try a diagnostic. All right, we're going to hold it. The device name to be determined. Non-lethal mediation prototype. Missing um, crystal look thing. And it's epic. Um, projection name and la la la. I can't talk. Projection and amplification of energy. Meridian, dimension, transportation of target. The Hope Eagle preserved life. Capable of channeling power from exotic elements. At the moment, the power chamber is empty. So we need iridium. Okay. So, for starters, I should probably put an actual power source in there, huh? You needed the goggles for that. Now, where did I put that iridium ore? So now we get to be her. Yay! Okay, so let's look around. Okay, we're going to put our goggles on and hold that. Um, Jabber Translator. That's the things that It'd we just great. let out, you right? They're all common. Code. It's a diplomacy the invention. Experiment to end inhumane jabber experimentation. Inventor is almost aware of iron. I guess I'm the inventor. Handy phrases include hello and jabbers don't get irony. Huh. Now that I look at the Jabberman translator with fresh eyes, I realize I may have made a miscalculation in the translation matrix. For all I know, they could have been spouting philosophy. All right, anything? Nope. And then nothing. Okay. This thing. Would a clearer headed Anu have stored the iridium in here before calling it tonight? I would have. Password one, two, three. Uh <laughs> Four. Okay, let's hold it. Safe. Security. Yours. Common. Security available. Very, very low. Pass. One, two, three, four. When you store your valuables in an Atlas safe, you'll never ever lose them. And if you do, you need to shut up. Make a tame iridium shark. And would a clearer headed Anu remember the code to her safe for once? No. No, you wouldn't of. Alright, let's open it. One, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four. There's the code. Or password. Code, password, sent it, right? Money! I'll take that. Better grab some money for lunch while I've got this bad boy unlocked. Did you say lunch? You buying? All right, so let's activate goggles and scan her. Now, if it were me, I'd have it on my desk. Phone, common, all time. Atlas so employee, assistant. Warning: Scanning human beings is not cool. Make a tiny radiant shark. Does she have one? Were you seriously about to scan me without my consent? Duh. Not cool. I'm. We really need to work on your people skills, boss. If you want to know what's in my pocket. Fong, can you tell me what's in your pocket? It's a Vaultlander figure. Some of the other lab assistants and I like to play before work. I totally creamed Roberts this morning, and this was my sweet reward. Okay. Well, it wouldn't let me go in there. All right, so let's just open this thing. All right, so it says, Boxo Tools. Missing iridium shard. It's common. Engineering. Yours. It's a box full of tools. Your box. 
your tools go in the box, hence the name, Box O Tools. Make a chain and read your chart. This helps My so. trusty tools. So I hope much so. potential for science in these simple It better be in there! Things. Better be in there, it's man! It. Oh, Anu, really? Alright, opening. There it is. Look at that. Got you. Purple or magenta. <laughs> Left the rare and Comment down below what color that is. The toolbox again, I want to start you? a viral debate. Uh, maybe. Alrighty, what happens now? Um, behavior adjustment. Use the Anu Super Science Slap to fix it. Okay. That's how I fix things, too. Yes. There we go. We slapped that shit. <sighs> I love that hum. It's like it's singing. Like a siren song. Yep, like the song like of the future. A song of the future. A better future with less bloodshed. Where we use innovation and technology to help people and protect life, not casually destroy it as a matter of course. Like, like, don't you know? I know, like profit-focused warmongers with no moral compass beyond the almighty dollar. Exactly. AKA, Atlas's motto. Our moral compass, the <sighs> almighty dollar. No cruelty, no killing, no compromise. That's hilarious. You're a revolutionary, boss. Thank Ooh, you. Who are we rising up against? <laughs> oh, crap. Timmy, eager, willing, ergonomic. Not that kind of revolutionary, Timmy. Don't worry. I won't. Revolutions typically generate a 30% increase in market share. Good for business! Yay. In fact, the only thing better for business than revolutions are the vicious campaigns of suppression by the ruling elite that inexorably follow! Timmy, that's reprehensible. It is? Yes. I'm reprehensible? You are if profiting off suffering excites you. Oh. Uh. I'm learning so much today! I'm so glad. Right. Anyway, are you here for something in particular, Timmy? Yes, please! I'm here on behalf of Mr. Strongform! Interesting name. To inquire why our company's test subjects are somehow... ...liberated. I'm sorry. Test subjects? The Jabbers. Liberated. Correct. Your comprehension level is impeccable. You should have no trouble explaining why the jabbers are loose. Again. They're currently running amok down the laboratory hallways. The janitorial staff is prepping for what I like to call... Go jabber. I'll jabber. tell the truth. All right, it was me. You caught me. I did it. I let the jabbers go. Yes, we know. I apologize if my tone was misleadingly chipper instead of appropriately accusatory. Wait. What? If it's any consolation, the footage from this instant was captured at a much more flattering. I regret than nothing. The footage of you releasing the jabbers those other times. I made it very clear that I will not condone experimenting on live animals on this ship. It was in that memo she sent out. It was a mission statement. Well, now that we've got that straightened out. Ah, Dr. Dar, you have an update to your calendar incoming. It's an appointment with Mr. Strongfork. Oh, uh, I can check my schedule to see. The appointment is now. Oh, and, uh, what is it regarding? It's a reprimand session for Mr. Strongfork to reprimand you. Oh. Wait. Better not go empty-handed? Oh, yes. Good idea. Good luck. Thanks. All right. 2K Games Persons. A Gearbox software game. New Tales from the Borderlands! Woohoo! Sorry for your ears. Who's this guy? Not very good looking. I like his hair though. Alright, how long are we gonna watch this man walk? What's up, Octavio? Octavio! Oh, man, stir. School's out already? 
Octavio, future Magu. Also you. Well, that was funny, hey, I guess. Hey, majority! I can smell your space calzones from here! Ah, thanks! I, I need a new name for them. Might also need to stop doing that problematic accent. Yeah, I, I know. I didn't even notice the accent, really. It was that bad. Oh. Miss Johnson, did you get a cybernetic leg? That thing's straight fire. That's freaking awesome. Jesse, how's it hanging, dude? Oh, you know, Octavio, it's a brand new day filled with endless possibilities and excitement. Sounds like it. Answer it. New Agorex, who it is? <laughs> Another new device? Come on, Octavio. It's redone. But listen, I'm almost done with this demolition trip. Oh? That didn't sound good. <laughs> Wanna head to Paco's for tacos? I love tacos. If you're buying. Ooh, do they come in my favorite flavor? Please don't say. Free! <laughs> <laughs> you're such a mooch. I'll see you there. Octavia. Oh, that scared Jeez. me. I anticipated your arrival and have been waiting in a location that would not obstruct others. What's wrong with you? Louis, what is wrong with you? Hiding dark alleys like that? I am not sensitive to disparities in luminosity. This seemed a perfectly acceptable place to stand. I acquired the publication you requested. Louis, killer friend. I'm gonna fall in love with him. Please be my Gordis. What is this? Oh, it's that thing. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on. Your biometrics read extreme disappointment. It's You're very smart. Super successful dirty 30. It lists the planet's most promising, innovative entrepreneurs, and I'm not on it. Again! Have you accomplished some extraordinary business transaction to warrant your acknowledgement on this list? Nope. I survived Malawan's invasion. And I like to think that my social influence has kept the city together after the war left it in damn near ruins. No would have been a more succinct answer. Look, I'm working on it. Why? This list is merely the opinion of other humans. You should not value it. As a machine, I find this accolade pointless to strive for. Getting on Forge's super successful Dirty 30 is a lifelong dream. It's irrefutable proof to the rest of the world that Octavia Wallace Star exists. That I'm a somebody. I know you're somebody. Yeah, but you're an assassination bot, which makes it weird. This is true. Perhaps you were disappointed. But look on the bright side. Many of these celebrated humans have contracts on their heads. Bivington Bradwick, for example, has numerous bounties on his life, but no assassination bot can kill him. He is rich and important enough that he never has to leave his home or do anything for himself. You, however, are not on this list. You're anonymous, unrecognized, a nobody. This is beneficial for your survival. But not beneficial for my image. I mean, all the best business people have probably at least killed someone to succeed. Something to warn a bounty anyway. I'm doing whatever it takes to maintain appearances. Come on, if there was a list of all the best assassination bots, wouldn't you want to be on it? I would. Yeah. I pour my heart and soul, confide my lifelong ambition to be on this list, and you act all superior robot on me. But I am a superior robot. I have killed 963 people. Damn, that's a lot. No one. Don't diminish my potential. It's not that I couldn't kill. I could, if that's what it took. Despite your erratic behavior today, I am in need of your assistance. Oh. Sorry, I'm busy networking, innovating, shaking hands. After Malawan killed nearly half the merchants in the city, we've all needed to make new contacts. This would be an actual job with money. Your various business concepts lack financing, marketing, 
public appeal. Kidding! <laughs> I'm not busy. Totally pranked you. <laughs> you just got Octavioed. Interesting phrasing. Perhaps I'll adopt that. Oh my oh, god. No. Kind of my thing, but now. On to business matters. You will aid me, as you have before, in confirming the names of my targets before I shoot two ion slugs into their brain. Jesus. You know how to talk. You have a mouth. You will prove exceptional. I want to kill. Will I be... killing anyone? All assassinations will be done by me, as prescribed by the Assassination Bots Guild. We have a strong labor unit. Whatever it takes to get my business off the ground. Do you actually have an idea for your business? Tons! Like? A few. I'm working on it! <sighs> this is funny. I love the um, assassination bot already. Louis is awesome. Okay. What's this? Must be the next Ugh. person. Son of a skag kissing rat ass! Congratulations! Francine Miskowitz, it has been 90 days since your last uncontrolled outburst of rage. Oh my god, that's a thing. All right. All right. Let's make it to 91. That's funny. All right. I love her nails. She's pretty cool. All right, so... We have like three main characters. Let's get to work. She's the last of them. Take pride in your ability to maintain a positive attitude, even though a Malibon space laser decimated your Froger shop and subsequently reduced its acrobat yowl rating by 3.5 stars. Wow. Thank you, sponsor bot. Fran, for your queen, also you. Your yowl rating is now. Thank you, sponsor bot. Sponsor bot. As soon as the insurance money is comes annoying. in, this place will look good as new. I love her tattoos. They look very vibrant. Oh. Well then. Warning: Do not think about your malfunctioning key or appliances, for which you still owe the key or corporation six hundred thousand galactic credits. I'm about to. You're not helping. You're pissing me off. Isn't it your job to keep me from losing my cool? Do not think on the fact that unless your next Froger flavor is diamonds, the interest on your debt will keep pace with your revenue, and you shall be forever drowning in an ocean of capitalist indifference. I hate this thing. Congratulations! You are not thinking about it. Son of a bitch! I said it for her. Yep, yeah, we're done. What's shaking? Is that me or... Oh, I broke it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. It has been zero days. Shit. Oh, it's not a backslide. Oh, it's a backslide. All the way back to pure animal rage. What is this thing? Right. Everything is going to be just fine. I hope so. My new slaughter o -matic combat vegetable knife slices artichokes as easily as arteries. I like artichokes. She seems very depressed. <clears throat> We're not open yet. And... Lore... How's business treating you, handsome? Not bad. If there's two things you can count on Prometheans buying, it's bullets and brew. Place looks as charming as ever. I thought the insurance money was supposed to come through by now. Claims guys coming by today, they've been jerking me around, saying I have to pass some sort of final interview to get my cash. How dare they not trust a kind old lady like you? Want me to shoot them? 
Yes. It's been a while since I shot anyone. A week, at least. Still, I'm a steady trigger. So long as I've got some caffeine in me. Same. Yeah, go for it. Love there my are caffeine. There a few problems a couple of well-placed bullets can't solve. They teach you that in the military? If by sure teach, did. you mean repeatedly scream at me. And if by military, you mean mom, then yes. Right. Well, just tell me who to shoot and where to shoot them, and I'll have it done by end of business today. Thanks for this, by the by. Samesies. Uh-oh. Looks like the morning rush has arrived. I'm outy. Alrighty. Morning rush. All right, all right, all right. Time to make the Frogerts. Frogerts, yay! That's awesome. Good morning. Welcome to Franz Frogerts. What can I get you today, hon? Uh, a large peanutty buddy with sprinkles. There we go. And then we're going to pull this. Are we going to make Frogert? That's awesome. You mean her chair does stuff? That's awesome. Pretty neat. Some sprinkles. She looks so happy doing this shop. I'm glad she has something she likes. You are too excited for this shit. Alright, there we go. And now it's frozen. Here you go, sweetheart. Give me my money. Whoa, this looks incredible, friend. I know, babe. Oh. Here you go. Yes. <laughs> she was too damn happy for that. Welcome to Mr. Strongborg's office. Please make yourself comfortable while I inform him of your presence. So we met all three. Let's see what Mr. Strong Fork wants. Just apologize for the jobbers. Won't happen again, sir. You cannot lose this job. It's a good job. Number one murder weapon. Get yours. Kills on. My idea is a paradigm shift. One that could help Atlas beat the competition. Yeah, that sounds great. Convincing. Job saving. Right? Is that zero? That's awesome. For killing things with accepting nothing less. Jimmy, tell Dr. Dar I'll see you now. Dr. Dar? Alright, here we go. Where is he? Un friggin' believable! Reese! Strong Fork, the cool CEO. You know, they tricked me. That's awesome. It's Reese. Love Reese. Hello, sir. Uh, Mr. Strong Fork. Uh, is everything alright? Because I can come back if. No, no, no. Everything's fine. It's fine. Mustache is awful. Got a bid again. On an ultra rare zero vault landers figurine. Again. Okay. It's an investment. You know. You know. You know what? Forget it. No. No. Never mind. Just. Just come on in. Have a seat. This is kind Thanks of familiar. For such short notice, but I figured I ought to just set a meeting as quickly as possible so we could touch base on the issue of you keep releasing jabbers on the ship again. You've got to stop doing that. And also. We're in space. I'm not sorry. We'll all contain animals up here, Dr. Dar. I did release them, and I'm not sorry. 
I will not condone, and I certainly will not participate in the needless torture of animals under the guise of scientific research, a byproduct of a capitalist system that thrives on violence. Wait, 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 wait. Why does this sound weirdly familiar? Oh, maybe because I wrote an entire mission statement about... Wait. You read my mission statement? Oh, God, the memo. That's right. Yeah, they were upgrading some of the circuitry in my office, and the bathroom door got stuck. So I had some time, I mean, a lot of time, to kill, and things got kind of desperate. I'm just saying I read every page that I used. Oh! God. The point is, you've proven that I can't trust you to follow corporate regulations. And what's more, you cost me a fortune! Do you have any idea? Any? I have guys in R&D working on cold fusion powered giant robots who spend less money than you've wasted on freeing animals from their cages. And Iridium ore. Oh my god, the Iridium ore. If I'd seen any evidence at all, a shred of it, that you had been using that Iridium ore to make something that, you know, we could sell or patent or eat, I wouldn't care, but... What is it? Tell him. It's a pretty interesting little gun there, huh? Look at it all gun-shaped. This is no gun, Mr. Strongfork. This is my device. Okay. This device. Gun. This device is going to achieve something no one ever has. Something no one has come close to. Replicating the powers of a siren with the pull of a trigger. Now that's a pitch. Keep going, keep going. I'm serious. This is exciting. The Cold Fusion Robot guys, they give a fun presentation, but it's always, you know, a little, a little I'm much. gonna give him a hard sell. Think about it. Can you afford not to develop this technology? Oh, God, can I? Can you? I don't know. Okay, decent pitch. I give it a C-. minus. Enough to not get you fired. Yet. So... I'm gonna need a demonstration to see what this adorable little game changer of yours can do. Absolutely, sir. If you have space in your schedule in two weeks' time. No? I meant now. There's no time like the present, right? So, present! But I haven't. It hasn't. It's in progress, and. It doesn't do anything, does it? No, no, it, it does. Just let me explain. Oh, by all means. And by all means, I mean this had better be really, really good, or you're... I don't know what it does, to be honest, so I'm just in this. Uh, uh, um, uh... It a uh, what? It's a lot of pressure trying to explain my transmaterialization beam in a way that sounds lethal, even though it isn't. It isn't? How am I supposed to sell a non-lethal gun? Device. So, to clarify... You have spent all the money and resources at your disposal that I gave you from my disposal to build a gun that does not kill people? I've built a device. Gun. Device that doesn't kill. It just sends people on a little vacation. A vacation to death? No, just a vacation. They literally vacate. Our customers don't want to send people on vacation. They want to send them to death. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? Show me. Show me, or put it on the desk, and leave my office! Okay. I, uh, I think you're really going to like this, sir. Alright, let's see it. It's not doing anything. I am um, waiting to be deeply, deeply Select impressed. an object to I mean, Florida, shoot. really, at this point, and I... <laughs> I've seen some shit, um, so... I Bar is high. Let's do it. Worked. It did it. It didn't kill it or blow it up. It just. It just. Went on vacation. What? Oh yeah. Went on vacation. Was a plant from the very first Atlas Biodome that I. It, oh, it I'm sorry. Sentimental value. That plant tried to kill me and Sasha on our first date. Oh shit. And it's also proprietary Atlas Bioengineering and worth like a billion dollars. My bad. Okay, okay, okay. Impressive. It's very impressive. Now, you know, reverse phase. <laughs> Unzap. De-eliminate. I can't. Bring it back. Um. 
There's no reverse switch, sir. It only does the one thing, so far. It's a prototype. Well, where the hell did it send my stuff? I, uh, do not know. That's embarrassing. <laughs> so it's just... God? Maybe. Maybe it'll find a way to grow out there. Maybe it'll, it'll put down roots and grow. Right. It has to be kept in specially enriched soil and receive five daily feedings of a proprietary atlas mineral mixed in deionized water to survive being removed from the biosphere in which it was genetically engineered. Thanks, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Strongfork! CEO of the Atlas Company, I am your assistant. Uh, yeah, Timmy, I know. Then now is my time to shine! Let me assist you! Wait, 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 Timmy, what? I will go on a quest to retrieve what you have lost, uh? <gasps> Rescue mission! If that is what this game's you about, I'm gonna that? lose my shit. For me? Of course I would. Mr. Strongfork! CEO of the Atlas Company. Doing anything and everything for you is literally the purpose of my existence. Yikes. Yeah, well, that's a fair point, actually. All right. Dr. Dar? Let's try this again. On Timmy. Oh. I don't want to. Alright, have fun, Timmy. Watch it not work. Alright. Well, hopefully he comes back. Timmy? He's gone. Timmy! If he doesn't come back, you'll be hearing from me. Specifically, the sound of my tears. He'll definitely come back. I think. Someday. Can I just say, for a gun... Device. ...that's designed to be non-lethal, that thing is really doing some damage. Agreed. That you? Not a compliment. You can't control it. You barely know what it does, except that it doesn't kill things, which makes it useless. It isn't designed to kill. Not everything needs to harm people. Agreed. I feel harmed. I feel very personally harmed. Just not in a way that's profitable. Oh my god, why? Who is it? Oh, Timmy, where are you when I need you most? <sighs> I love his new arm. You've reached Reese Strongfork, the CEO of Atlas Corporation. Well, well. If it isn't Reese Strongfork. <laughs> Susan. Coldwell, CEO of TDR. Why, why are you calling me? You know what, can you hold on for just a sec? Dr. Dar, you may go. And if it wasn't clear already, uh, you're fired. But, sir... <laughs> Susan, how'd they hang in? Oh. <laughs> Perky as ever, Reese. And you? Eyes and limbs, all accounted for? Ooh. Yep, all good over here. Doing just great. Better than. Was there, uh, something you needed? Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, favorite, comment on everything. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.